and today in this video we are going to have a look at some of the string functions present in JavaScript. So first string function we are going to have a look at is substring. The next is the replace. The third is the two uppercase. The fourth is uh, the two lowercase. Then concat, and then the last is caret. So without wasting time, let's begin with this video. So what I have done over here is I have created a paragraph element and assigned it an ID as test. So whatever values this functions are gonna return, I'm gonna display it in this paragraph element. So this is the script tag and within this we are gonna write our JavaScript code. So I have created a variable named S1 and assigned it as a string. This is a JavaScript series by Sandesh. Just do like this. Yes, this is a string assigned it to a variable as fun. So uh, let's have a look at our first function that is a substring. So what I'm gonna do is just create another variable f1 equals. So I'm gonna use a substring on the string on this string. So I'm gonna write s1 dot substring. The substring function returns a string or a word or a sentence uh, for according to the index that you pass so suppose i pass a function uh, two parameters over here suppose i want 7 to 10 just save this so what i'm gonna what i'm seeing through this function is just return the word from the starting from the index 7 to 10 so over here it will return it should return 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i just see it over here is 8 so the javascript word starts from 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so i just see i want to extract the javascript word so i pass the index parameters at 8 to 17 just save this and open in your browser it will not show anything because i have not written the display function so I just tried document dot get element by ID test dot inner HTML equals F1 to save this what I'm saying over here is in this line just display uh, the F1 value in this paragraph element that's why test is being passed over here. To save this, just refresh the page. You can see the JavaScript is being displayed. If I just change it over here, 18. Yes. So you have got an idea how the substring function works. You need to pass two parameters in the substring functions, the starting index and the index till which you want to extract that word or the sentence. So now let's have a look at the replace function. So simply over here I will do replace just delete this. I want to do replace Java script with suppose PHP. So I want to replace the JavaScript word in the string with the PHP. So just save this and refresh. You can see this is a PHP series by Siddesh. So the JavaScript word is being replaced by PHP. So Oh, what this replace function do is just replace the first occurrence of the word suppose I have over here as JavaScript so it will not replace the JavaScript at the end you can have a look at it you can see it has not replaced the JavaScript at the end it just replaces the first occurrence of the word which we have passed as the first parameter so what to do to replace all the occurrences of the word just put the forward slash over here again the forward slash and simply G just save this, refresh it. You can see it has replaced the all occurrences of JavaScript with PHP. At the end also you can see it has replaced JavaScript with PHP. So in this way you can use this uh, minus, uh, back, uh, forward slash G to replace all occurrences. Now let's have a look at another function that is to uppercase. So I want to convert this entire string to uppercase characters so I will simply write to uppercase just save this 
refresh you can see the entire string has been converted to upper case characters similarly you can do for lower case just parenthesis just save this refresh the page yes the entire string has been converted to uh, lower cases characters now let's have a look at concat uh, for concat function you need to create another variable to suppose as to equals value just see this now I want to concat these two strings so what I will do is just call the concat function and I want to concat I want to add space in between and over here I will pass simply s2 just save this what I'm saying is concat this string with this string okay you save this and refresh you can see this is javascript series by Siddhish world the world word has been added at the end that is appended or you can say a concatenated at the end of the string so I hope you have understand this concat and now let's have a look at the caret function so to use the caret function caret function is basically used by passing the index you get what character uh, is present at that specified index suppose I pass over here as 8 so I will get in return what character is present at index 8 so just save this and refresh you can see a J is been present at index 8 so I suppose pass it over here so it should return me the T so just save this and refresh yes it's written in me T so I hope you have got a clear understanding how to use this function substring replace to uppercase to lowercase concat and caret in javascript so if you have any queries do mention it in the comment section below and if you like this video do like it and share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching this video till then take care thanks a lot